Hello, welcome back. Last time I was reminded of the harsh realities of production alchemy. Uh, and this thing implies that that's what I'm going to be dealing with for this entire issue. So yeah, let's see what we're up to here. Luster. Okay, two places, conduit between them. Product is this. So tin around a quintessence. Oh boy. Um, fire at him. Okay, so Van Burla's wheel is involved. Really? Oh dear. Okay. Wait, are you sure about this? All right, well, Van Burla's definitely gonna have to be in here. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to fit. What a surprise. Uh, um, this output might have to be here? Let's see, okay, so I have to peel this. How's this ever gonna happen? Okay, that looks close to plausible. Um, are you sure though? No, I'm really not. Okay, so this has bonds to that. I don't think this chamber is going to have to be f just for Van Burlo and nothing else. It's just that, like, it's hard to see, like, what can... what things can realistically coexist here. Okay, well, first concern is peeling this orange. Um... It's going to be real uncomfortable if I do it... Anywhere. No matter where I do it, it's going to be bad. Okay. Uh, I don't want to waste space, but I'm going to have to. What would it look like if I did this? It would look like colliding, of course. Um, so you'd want one of those instead. Okay. I mean, where do I think I'm going with this? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so... If you pivot left and then like... Plus right, pivot and left, what would that look like? Nothing. What? What am I doing? Uh, okay, that's closer to what I was after. You need another one in there. Okay, this has some plausibility to it. Maybe I can peel this way. And you know what else? If I'm not using the track like that... Well, you know, I'm not using that track at all, actually. Uh, wait, yes I was. Uh, no I wasn't. Not yet. Let's see how long I can get away without using it. Okay, so you have salt, right? Is that what I want to do? No, but uh, you need another. Okay, well, uh, that's not really what I want. I'd prefer something else. can have something else. (sighs) 
Yes, that works. Uh, no, no, it doesn't really. No, hang on, what am I trying to do? I'm confused. Well, not that. Wait, yeah, what's the problem here? Nothing. This is fine. I turn right, I pivot left, I pivot left. And then I have another salt there. Okay, now, um... Actually... It's almost plausible that I could have this here. Oh, hey, I just noticed you're only allowed one Van Burlo's wheel ever. I can't have a second one. Uh, is there any way I could get away with having this here? Maybe. I think I could. Well, no, I need to touch those spaces, so no. Okay. Alright, so salt, salt, salt's gonna come through. Whoever's dealing with that needs to... Let's see, this could maybe plausibly go here. You think you're gonna bond it there? I don't know, I might be able to. I think it's not impossible. Because, like, that glyph of bonding would be here-ish. I'd have a track... like this. Yes, this works. I think. Uh, almost. This could work. Am I sure this couldn't? I'm not sure of anything. That couldn't work the way that is. Okay, so the problem with this might actually be nothing. All right, so let's imagine a fit check here. Yeah, there'd be a problem there. Well, not if you were sitting in this position. Okay, that's a fit. And then, okay, so with a partial thing, you'd like grab that and come around here. Okay, so this rotation could be a problem with like this here. I don't know. I don't want to worry about this part yet. I'm just not going to touch this part of the puzzle yet uh, at all. Where's the tin? There's the tin. Okay. That tin's going to have to be stashed away somewhere while I manufacture. Oh, right. Also, I have to do some stuff with contestants. Um, unification. You will need to exist. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you're probably a piston arm then. Uh. Hmm. That's getting close to something plausible. I can at least reach all the things. Yeah, all right. That's probably about the best it's going to get. Okay. Um, so you're the wheel. Uh, I need anything and anything and anything and fire. Sounds fine. All right. So where I drop... Uh, where is it that I drop the salt? right there. You can pick that up. Turn it left. Turn it right. Turn it right. Then you might as well put it as far away as you can. I believe this is the second drop. No, this will be the second drop. Okay. 
Uh, so then for this one, I want my wheel to turn this way. Okay, so here's an air, here's a water. Earth will be next. Okay, um, so where are you then? Right, I had to do the business over here to clear out this conduit so that I can keep working with number two here. I don't like it when Van Burla's wheel is my number one. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't make me happy. So that's three. You're one, you're two. That makes more sense to me. All right, so your air. That thing's still peeling that thing. Here's air, great. Here comes another salt. Okay, now you need to get that salt out, which I think you can do uh, with the same set of instructions as you had before. You're gonna make a mess. Because you don't know what's going on. That's fine. All right, let me see if I can get away with this. Will the same set of instructions do what I want? It looks like it to me. Sure, why wouldn't it? Of course. Okay, and then something different happens. However, I can first have you... No, you. This one can't grab. Uh, so you're making Earth. Great. Uh, then you can just reset, because your job is done until next cycle. Okay, and what do you have, number one? So, this part of the puzzle all seems fine. I'm not too worried about the bonding part. I think this will all just kind of work. My only worry is just like the tight space created by this dude popping back up. And I am holding it down with uh, the items I'm using here. Actually, I could probably like keep on holding it down. Have a... You'd have to become a piston for one thing, but you could totally like put a tin through there swing it around here and just like park it there until I'm done with all that stuff. Okay, that's an option if I don't see a better way. Uh, you've looped around by the way. I don't really want you to do that, but I don't know if I get much of a choice. Because the other way of unbonding would put an atom here, which is illegal. Okay, so it does look to me like you will need to be a piston. I mean, that wasn't too unlikely. Um, yeah, because if I have a triangular thing and I want to get the free atom here, then I would have to be able to put something here, which I can't. Therefore, you need to be able to reach this space to clear it out. Therefore, you need either a track over there, which there's no room to put. So, you become piston, okay? Uh... All right, so you were doing things because you happened to loop around. So you grabbed, you pivoted left. You're going to want to do like right, right. Uh. I think that drops tin over there. I don't want to drop tin over there. I need to get the fire here. It's going to be a bit. I have to get all the tin first. Oh, and stash it. Oh, yeah, tin doesn't go through the conduit. Tin just stays here. And that's very convenient because what I was just talking about, I have to stash it somewhere. So yeah, might as well stash it on this. Okay. That actually solves a few problems. Okay. So tin's stashed there. I have now... Um, might want to stash it a little farther out. Uh, 
Alternately, hold on, why am I doing... I need this the other way around. I need to be on the convex part of it. But I'm in the concave. Because I'd love to rotate this, but I can't without hitting myself. Uh, okay, I have a solution. <laughs> oh, I don't like the solution I was thinking of. Um, is there a better one? Turn right, pivot right, pivot right a couple of times. Okay, I can definitely pivot right from there. Twice. And reach this. But then where does this go? It might have to go all the way out here so that this could get by. Okay, sure. Okay, so if you are holding this here, you pivot right, you pivot right. Okay, so we got tin, fire, tin in that configuration. That's fine. Okay, what have I done with that? Will that do what I want? Ah! off on that a little bit. Uh, well, that doesn't give you a place to go. Okay, you're gonna be like that, huh? Okay, so no strategy then. What would this look like? Hey. Better. That is definitely preferable. Pivot left. Pivot left. No. Pivot left once. Okay, I see. Uh... I need that fire. Uh, okay, so I predict a problem. This a thing is going to pop up right while that happens. So I really need to not stash that tin there. Uh, other than that, is this a good plan? I'd love to be able to stash it there, but yeah, that's when that pops back up. So I need to prevent that instead by... I don't have a way to put this on there. Just did a pivot left. Hold on. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna have to do here is do a turn to the right. Okay, nobody popped back up. Then stash this exactly here. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, is that right? Pretty much. Okay, so now you can do your pivot left, re release, retract, grab, left, and what happens? Well, I need another left in there, don't I? Uh, not exactly. A pivot left might work. Eh, it didn't. Could I left, then turn, then right? Well, that got that tin off. You know, that's fine. I think. Yeah, you're just waiting for another, for a fire. I'm getting there. Okay. This is acceptable. Uh. Okay, so I'm grabbed onto the tin that is here, and I have a tin stashed here and another there. So you can start doing things with that, but first, after this release, you have your fire. So you can go get that quintessence and drop it in there. While that's been happening, I'm quickly swinging that tin through there so that it makes it out before the quintessence comes. Grab the quintessence, bond it to the tin. Great. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay, see so now here's where it gets a little bit awkward. I'm gonna have to park you a little bit farther out there. Uh, I think I know what I'm doing. It might not be super clear right now, so I do the extend there. I grab that, I attract, I go right, I go right, I plus. Wait, where am I? Okay, I, I input a lot of stuff, but I eventually lost my place. Let's see if I'm doing anything like what I was picturing. So that tin stash is there. Okay, that rotation does work. Here, have a fire. Uh, you waited... Oh, no, I put this in the wrong channel. That's what happens. Van Burlo can't grab. There's a quintessence. Neat. Here it comes. Neat. You're gonna need a reset, of course. Yes, that works. You went left one too many. What you want is a minus or an extend. Either way is fine. So you park that there. This is here. You don't want that plus. What you want is a release, a left, an extend, a grab, a retract. Okay, so I've put that on there. Oh. Yes, I have, but... Well, let's see it at least. Uh, you have the resets. Okay, you're fine. I think I might be almost done. Okay, now I need to maneuver you into a place. Oh wait, no, I can repeat the same thing. Yeah, I'm done, cool. Well, I'm not done done, but I'm basically done. Okay, where's the extend that does that? I think it's here. Right, so you need the, I think I just need a copy of this. 
plus one more extend here and one more retract here because you're grabbing one that's farther out. Uh, so I think you've just bonded that onto there. So then all you do is extend and reset, right? Neat. Everything did fit. It wasn't so much of a squeeze. Just having a way to hold this down was the, uh, seemed to be the key. Great. Okay. All done. Did need a piston arm on both sides, so, you know, my cost is not fantastic, but getting that down any further... It's not obvious how I would do that. Um... So I think this is as low as the cost of this puzzle is going to go for me. What could I do? Like, hang on, why are you a piston? Could you be arranged? Let's see, I'm not using this space. Could you be arranged to go, like, all the way around? Well, if I put that up there, then that takes up this space and Van Burl's wheel doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm not sure how you would reach all these spaces without a piston arm, or a second arm, or something. Seems like all of this is necessary. But I do strongly suspect someone will be below me on the cost graph. Not a lot, but someone. That's what I think. Cool. Well, that was a pretty satisfying puzzle. Nice. Oh, or the cost graph won't show up. <laughs> Great. I wonder what this means. Why Why did this happen? <sighs> All right, well, uh, I'm going to make up my own cost graph. There's a little sample point down here at like, I don't know, 175 or something. Then there's a much larger one here, and that's where I am. Then that's probably the peak, actually. Then it's like down there, then down here, and then it drops off pretty quick. Okay. <laughs> that's the way I draw the cost graph <laughs> and where I place on it. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right, that went actually super well, which was a nice change from how this was. <laughs> okay, production alchemy is sometimes fun. See you next time for Lamplight Gas.